In this video, we're going to find the confidence interval um, for the differences between, uh, for, for the mean differences uh, between match pair data. And the problem we're going to be looking at is this one right here. Given reaction time in red and reaction time in blue, create a 99% confidence interval about the population mean difference between red and blue. Now, I notice how red comes first here. That means the red zone going to our first. Uh, list and blue will go on our second list. Now, if they had reversed those, if they had said the mean difference between blue and red, we would have put blue in the first list and red in the second. But anyway, we'll put the red in the first first list. I'm going to press my stat button, go into edit, and if you have numbers here already, you can uh, just press delete to clean them out. This is a very quick way to clean those out, but I'm not sure if people sometimes delete their list by doing it. And get those all out of there. Okay, and we said that we're going to put our red values in first list. So I got point four two five, and press enter. Point five one one, enter. Point seven one two, enter. Point six five one, enter. Point four nine nine enter and uh, point five oh five enter. Now we're going to write our over to L two, and that's where we put our blue values. So we got point four oh four enter point six two two enter. 0.605, enter, 0.719, enter, 0.813, enter, and 0.350, enter. Okay, now we want to calculate our differences. So I'm going to write our over to L3 and up arrow and highlight L1, or L3, sorry. Now I'm going to start typing my formula. I'm going to do a second one minus second two. Now you should see down at the bottom, it says L1 minus L2. And L3 should be highlighted. This does not work unless you highlight L3 before you do this. And then press enter. Now L3 will contain our, our differences between L1 and L2. So now at this point, I'm going to exit out. I'll do a second mode. I'm going to my stat. I'm going to go over to my test. You can right arrow twice or left arrow once. And we want, specifically want to go into the T interval, which is number 8. And press Enter. Now, data is when you're given raw data. Stats is when you're given summary statistics. we got raw data. We put in L3. So I'll do a left arrow, press Enter on data list and mine says L3 but yours probably doesn't. You do second three to put L3 there. Frequency leave is one and then our confidence interval we said we want 99% so 0.99 and then enter. Now notice we don't do anything with L1 and L2. They were used to help us calculate L3 which is the differences. And then enter and calculate. And this would be our um, confidence interval. Around at two decimal places, we've got negative uh, 0 0.31 to 0 0.24. So negative 0 0.31 to 0 0.24. And that would be our answer. Now it's very possible that when you go to do some other confidence intervals, that uh, instead of it showing L1 like you're used to, it'll say L3. If it does, you just simply do second one to put an L1 there. In this video, we took a look at how to find the uh, confidence interval for the differences in uh, the mean of uh, matched, uh, matched, matched pairs.